Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. Now, today is a pretty sad day, and this is a hard video for me to do. Actually, I haven't released a video in days because I've been trying to get through this video, and it, it's just been really tough. It's really hard to make a coherent video when, when something like this has happened. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So July 17th, 2014, uh, a massive layoff uh, occurred at Microsoft. And after 15 years as a software developer and test in the Windows division, I was on that list. So Thursday morning, I reported to a meeting that I had no idea was even coming down. I had no, I, all my projects were 100% go and approved. There was no indication this was happening, but I walk into a room, 150 other of my peers in there. I see people in there that I consider mentors. I see people in there that I know personally have completely saved you know, the Windows project, you know, countless times. And we're, we're all wondering why we're there. And so, you know, upper management gets up and talks to us and you could tell they were even broken up about it. Like literally this was a complete surprise to everybody. This is like Microsoft's best kept secret ever. And they stand up and say that Microsoft is going in a new direction and that our roles are no longer necessary. So they've been eliminated. And after that, they pretty much told us, uh, well, they handed it over to HR and then HR told us we could pick up our severance packages. They talked a little bit about them and pretty much told us our card key access would be revoked on Sunday, which is, is today actually. And they told us to clear out our offices. Now, I don't know what this new direction is Microsoft's taking, but it scares the hell out of me personally. And, you know, I'm, I'm definitely scared for the people that, that remained and stayed behind because I don't know how they're going to be able to keep things going with with this massive loss it, it just it, it, it doesn't compute to me that's my that's my personal feeling here but I'll be honest the biggest fear that I had uh, with when, when I heard them say you know you, you're no longer necessary and your role's been removed is you know I've had an insurance package with Microsoft that has been phenomenal a lot of you guys may not know if you don't follow my videos I have a four-year-old son his name's Xander and he actually has PDD NOS, which is a form of autism spectrum. And uh, when he was born, he had to be, he was born at two pounds, 11 weeks premature. And he had to be in the NICU for, a, a, you know, a very, very high intense NICU for three and a half months. And he needed a lot of experimental procedures, everything. His life wouldn't have been possible without Microsoft. First and foremost, I would like to thank Microsoft for, for providing that level of insurance that allowed me to have that, the happy, healthy son that I have today. But of course, the instant fear that came to my mind is my son still needs a lot of therapy. Um, he goes to autism therapy that helps him learn better communication skills and it helps him learn to interact with others and it helps him understand his emotions and how to deal with them. And that therapy is very, very expensive and it's not covered by a lot of insurances. And Microsoft is one of the few that does. So now I have to figure out how to provide that to him uh, you know, without having Microsoft in my life. And that's, and that's frankly very, very scary to me. Now, on the plus side, Microsoft did provide a pretty good severance package. I, I mean, it depends on a lot of factors, but mine, mine particularly was decent. And it's basically gonna allow me to have a couple of months to make my decisions and figure out what I wanna do moving forward. So it's not like, it's not like they were like, everybody, you're fired, go home. You, you can tell Microsoft tried to do their best to, to make sure that we were taken care of while we were transitioning and trying to find a new job. And honestly, that helps a lot, but it's still, it's still very little consolation when you think of how many years you've put into that company. And, you know, and, and it's, the, it's one thing if you're a bad performer. If you're a bad performer and you're not doing much for the company, that's one thing. But, you know, I had a unique set of skills that I've honed over the years. I know a lot of the systems, a lot of the infrastructure. It's like, I've, I've made myself a place, I've made myself a permanent fixture at Microsoft and, and somehow some algorithm just put me on a list and that was the end of it. Nobody, nobody went and looked at my track record. Nobody went and looked at my performance. Nobody figured out that, wait a second, this guy could be an asset elsewhere in the company. We should move him. It was just easier for them to just, just cut everybody that was on the list. So, you know, I, I'd like to, to think that I'm probably, I probably was laid off by a computer. I don't even think a human being laid me off. I think a computer did. Some algorithm said that I must have made too much money and the future projections was maybe I'm too old. Maybe, I mean, I'm 34 years old. Maybe they want younger people. I don't know what the algorithm entailed, but a computer put me on a list for whatever reason, regardless of my achievements and uh, sent me packing. But again, the biggest fear that I have now is providing the level of insurance to my family that, that they need. 
uh, because I want my son to have every opportunity to grow up and be a productive member of society. And if I can't provide him the means to do that, I'm never going to feel like I was a good father. doesn't matter what I do. I'm just going to feel like I completely failed. So that's, that's the one thing I have to figure out. Money aside, I don't care. It's the insurance. I need to get that figured out first. All right. Okay. All right. So the hard part of the video is over. That's it. It's time to get a little more energy now. Come on, Jerry. Mm, yeah. Okay. So here's how I see it going, guys, is I started this YouTube channel as a hobby. This was a hobby. I've always said it's a hobby. I review technology that I like to review. I 3D print things that I want to 3D print. If I'm changing the brakes on my car, I make a video on it. If I go drive rally cars, I do a video on it. If I do simulator, I do a video on it. It's everything. I have a diverse channel. I love it. You guys seem to love it. Uh, the audience has grown to like 140,000 subscribers. How did that even happen? Blows my mind. So since I have a few months now with my severance package where I can regroup, I think instead of running out immediately and trying to find another job, I think I'm going to make a bet on myself. I'm, I'm going to wager a bet that I think that if I push hard on the YouTube front, I start working with Opulent Studios, my gaming company that, that we haven't done anything since Angry Sharks for the Windows Phone. I want to resurrect that and start programming again and doing programming videos. I think between making applications games and really pushing hard on this YouTube channel that I can keep my family afloat and I can get Xander the insurance that he needs. And then at that point, I'm my own boss. I really, really want to be my own boss, guys. I've, I've spent my entire adult life working for Microsoft and giving everything I have to give to them. And I think it'll be fun to finally branch out and give everything that I have to give to me and to my family and to you guys. Because without you guys, I have no motivation to do this. Honestly, the only reason I've made as many videos as I have is because you guys send me the most awesome feedback ever and it gets me motivated to make another video. It's the next video is always a motivation that comes from you guys. So I see this as a new opportunity. I think with your guys' help, I can keep growing this YouTube channel. I can keep pushing and doing the things that make me happy. And then in turn, hopefully I can create entertaining content for you guys. But the honest truth is I'm not gonna be able to do this without your guys' support. I'm not. If, you know, I, I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided how I'm gonna exactly monetize things in a way that, that, that keeps my family going. I haven't figured out all those little details and I'm gonna be figuring those out over the next couple of weeks. But in the meantime, I have hours and hours and hours a day now. I don't have to go to a job that I can spend working on the Nerd Cave, making new videos, doing tutorials, doing everything that you guys seem to love. And that's the one thing that makes me happy. Despite losing my career of 15 years, which I thought I was gonna be there forever, honestly did. If you asked me any day of the week, I would've been like, I'm gonna retire from Microsoft. But obviously that's, that's not gonna happen now. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna go back to Microsoft. I'm not gonna say I hate Microsoft. I don't. Microsoft has been very good to me for the last 15 years. I don't agree with the direction that they're going or where they're taking the company. And I think our new CEO is, is getting a little too big for his britches out of the gate. And I think that Microsoft's gonna hurt for it in the short term. But I hope and I pray that at some point Microsoft's gonna return back to its roots. You know, I remember when I first started working there, the slogan of the company was, where do you wanna go today? And they valued all of their employees. They, they took big risks. They spent massive amounts of money. They were passionate. If I see that come back to the company and I don't just see fear and I don't see yes men, I will return to Microsoft. I think I have an itch that needs to be scratched to see Windows return to its former glory in the eye of the consumers like you guys. You know, arguably Windows 7 was the greatest Windows we've ever shipped. And I'll stand behind that. And Windows 8, the customers absolutely hated it because of the UI experience. But to be honest, the underlying components of the operating system were amazingly better than in Windows 7. The work that was done there was just absolutely phenomenal. So it's like, you know, people really, really see that UI and it turns them off. But it, if you look at the technical engineering aspects, it's, it's an amazing operating system. Now, I don't know what's going to come out next. I honestly, with, with, with the new direction that they're going, I don't know what to expect. We'll, we'll just have to see and time will tell. But... If Windows is going in a positive direction, I would like to be a part of it. But if the company continues down this path of where all that matters is the bottom line, people aren't important, uh, you know, the, the, the collective knowledge of their people aren't important, their intellectual property isn't important, all that matters is, is that bottom dollar, then I'm going to go work for a company that has more integrity. 
a company that's more in touch with, with the people, the customer and their employees. Because ultimately, we've all considered ourselves customers. I remember back when I started at Microsoft in 1999, we were customers. If I went and filed a bug against something in the operating system, they, they looked at that and said, you know what, that's, that's important. We need to consider it. I wanna see Microsoft return back to those roots. All right, so now guys, I'm officially my own boss. So I guess I can say I'm a full-time YouTuber now. I guess that's what we're, we're, that's the direction I'm going with this. So from this point on, from today on, I am gonna be a full-time YouTuber. And it is my goal to release no less than five videos a week. That's what I'm gonna shoot for, five videos a week. And I'm gonna get heavy back into 3D printing. I'm gonna get heavy back into my unboxing videos and gaming. I'm gonna start doing some gaming streams on Twitch. Probably not this week, but starting next week. And I'm gonna start actually having fun. I've reached a point in my life where it's like, I wanna do things I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about software development. That's why Microsoft was such a good fit for me. But now I'm free to develop for any platform I want. Used to be I could only develop for Windows and I could only develop for Windows Phone. Now I can develop for Android and iOS and anything I want. You know, so now the more popular platforms are open to me to do some development. So I hope to do that to kind of help raise some more funds to, to offset the stress and then my family can continue. Because the thing is, is, I can't do this without you guys. I honestly can't. And if it's just watching my videos, you guys have no idea that helps me a ton. When I make a video that's entertaining to you and you sit down and watch it, believe it or not, it helps me. It does. It helps me get to that goal. Uh, I don't have a Patreon campaign, but I may start a Patreon campaign at some point because now I'm in the position where this isn't just a hobby anymore. I actually have to find a way to make a living from this, but I need to do it in a way that you guys will still support me and you're still happy with what I'm doing. And I completely understand that and I'm gonna be sensitive to that. And I'm gonna work for it. Oh my God, am I gonna work for it. You guys are gonna see games, applications, stuff like that. I'm actually gonna develop things, develop things that you can download, do tutorials on how to create and tweak your own things. I'm gonna create some open source projects. I'm definitely gonna get back into the programming thing for myself because I wanna be able to provide things to people that they can use that make them happy. At the end of the day, I need to know that my content, my content is impacting people positively. So that's my goal. I already talked with my wife and she is 100% on board. She said that as long as we have a couple of months where we don't have to worry about things too much, which I do, I, I have Microsoft allowed me that, um, I'm gonna use that time to try to push into the space more, try to reach more people, try to do more awesome things, and try to have fun. The vlogging thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on that. I've got a lot to vlog about now, and now I've got time. I don't have to go to work every day. I couldn't vlog Monday through Friday because I was at work, I was behind closed doors under NDA, and I can't vlog in the building, so, so I couldn't, now, now I can vlog whenever I want. I'm probably not gonna do a daily vlog um, anytime soon, uh, because that's a lot of editing and everything like that, but I do want to do more vlogging and I will be at vlogger fair on August 16th, 2014. I'm going to be a vlogger fair doing 3d printing and, uh, and I'll be vlogging at vlogger fair. That's going to be fun. So I've got a lot of stuff that I can be doing and hopefully if I can do it right between creating the games, creating the applications, the YouTube channel, if I decide to do a Patreon, that campaign, maybe even get some sponsorships from companies that I have a lot of respect for. I will mind you right now though, any sponsorship that I take is only gonna be from a company that I trust and only under the pretense that they allow me to speak my true feelings. I am not taking any sponsorship from a company that ties my hands and says that I can't say something negative about their product. They need to allow me to review things the way I review things because that's how I do it. And I'm not gonna change that no matter what. Money isn't gonna play into that. I would rather go back and get a job at an IT company than break that rule. And if with your guys' support, I'm able to pull this off, then I'm gonna continue to do this as long as I possibly can. Because this is fun, this is, this is personally gratifying. It's something I like. And if for some reason it doesn't work out, and you know, and, and I can't you know, make enough money to support my family and to get the insurance for my son, and I do have to return to work, I'm still gonna continue doing the YouTube channel. It's just gonna be more of a hobby, and it's not gonna be the primary focus of my life. So guys, this actually ended up being a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know you probably don't enjoy the fact that I was laid off from Microsoft, but overall, this should get you guys all up to speed and know what to expect. I'm gonna be creating a massive amount of videos after this one. You guys are gonna see more videos from me than you ever have before. Uh, if you guys would please come and support me on social networking, come over and follow me at Barnacles. Uh, and also come over to my Facebook if you don't like Twitter. And if you don't like Twitter and Facebook, check out my Instagram. I've got links to all these things in the video description. When you guys come and follow me on those things, it helps support me. It does. And support is more than money, guys. It's more. It's absolutely more than money. Yes, I need money for insurance. I need money to feed my family. I need money to pay for my house. I need things 
that I'm not going to have in a few months. So, the, so, so money is important now, which it wasn't before. But at the same time, the motivation that gets me to do this isn't just purely mon monetization. It doesn't, that, that doesn't do it for me 100%. I, knowing people enjoy my content and having people give me constructive feedback that helps me hone that content moving forward, that's, that's just as important. It's, it's every bit as important, guys. So whether, whether you support me through donation, whether you support me through Patreon, if and when I do it, whether you support me just by watching my videos, whether you support me just by sending me an email and saying, hey, Jerry, you're doing a good job, keep it up. All of those things are equal in my mind. All right, guys, well, I'm getting a little, <laughs> I'm getting a little choked up now. Uh, this, this, again, this is a hard video for me to make, guys. And I'm really, I'm really, my, my biggest worry is my family because my family comes first and I have to provide for them and not providing for them is, it's, it's a hard thing to think about. So, <sighs> oh, I hate this. All right, I'm composed. Honest to God, I mean, I, dude, it's just it's just emotions. You, if you've ever worked somewhere for 15 years and, and you thought that you were doing an amazing job and you just get let go, it's it's a hard thing to deal with. And knowing that you have a child that needs so much stuff and you got to help them, I mean, that that's rough too. But in in a nutshell, you guys, I don't want handouts. I don't want you to just do stuff for me. I, if you enjoy my content, help me. And if you don't enjoy my content, you tell me what I need to do to to, to make it worth worth your while to help. And I can't, obviously I can't please everybody. That's one thing I learned a long time ago on YouTube is it's like, you know, the, the, the majority rules. If one person doesn't like my videos, I can't, I can't change my whole direction for you. And I hold nothing against you. If, if you, if you feel it necessary to unsubscribe or go away, I will never hold that against you ever. But you guys, there's everything that you do from every comment that you give me, everything you support me, even the people that have just tweeted me coffees, which I still laugh, the whole tweet a coffee thing. Uh, I mean, little gestures like that. I mean, the, it's, it's really heartwarming to know that there's people out there that actually enjoy my content enough to actually help me even just a little bit. And for that, I, I, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. But for the rest of you guys, if you can't help, I completely understand. I completely understand. And all of my content that I create, even if I create a Patreon campaign, every bit of content that I create, you're gonna see end up on YouTube. It is, it's gonna show up on YouTube for everybody because I create the content for everybody. I want the content to be for everybody. And to be honest, a lot of this stuff is my legacy. You know, it's like when my son grows up, I want him to go back and watch these videos. Even the ones that have vulgar language in them and everything, I want my son to go back and see that his old man was a fun guy. All right, well, this video is amazingly long, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, guys. Thank you for all of the support that you guys have given me. Uh, you know, it's weird that my hobby now has officially turned into my new career, but uh, hopefully that works out for all of us and it makes all of our lives a little bit better. So keep an eye out for the videos, man. Hit that subscribe button. If this is the first video you've watched of me, oh my God, please do not judge me by this video. Go watch my other videos. Uh, I'm a much happier person to this and I'm gonna be a much happier person after I publish this video because this video allows me to just release. It allows me to let go. It's done, it's real. I no longer work at Microsoft. I am a free agent. I'm gonna go you know, determine my own destiny and you guys are gonna help me do it. All right, until next time, guys. AKA Barnacles, and today we're doing another episode of Jerry Rigged. So the whole idea of this series is to find a bunch of crap laying around my house and repurpose it to solve a problem. Now if you watched the last episode, which was the first episode that we ever did, I basically took a stinky board and a toilet plunger and turned it into an effective e-brake.